Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Professor Hiawa has a message to the white folks and it also rings some bells to the black people and it also teaches us about something which is important for us to hear. So I want us to watch this video. Um, I don't want to say much about this because most of it I feel like I need to deliver this message and I want to broadcast this message to people so that black people, wherever you are, you can watch this uh, video. And I hope that it is helpful to, to you and your family. And if you have white folks who are friends to you, or if you have people you relate with who are white folks, and you can share with them this message and let them know the necessary things uh, they need to take about this. But well, let's watch this video and then... As I say today, I have not much to say about it, but I'll just say my final remarks at the end of the video. So let's, uh, let's watch this video and then come back as usual. Enjoy. Their time, people of European descent, their time is up. Don't need to go to the history of it. I would recommend that you go to my bio and go to my um, my webinar series. I did a four-part webinar series on, on a movie I was in called Race War. And it's webinar number two. Origin of the Caucasoid. We follow their history to the mountains of the Caucasus. To the mountains of the Himalayas. Who were impacted by their climate in hostile conditions and lived like that for a couple thousand years. And this is where xenophobia, the fear of the foreign, fear of anything that doesn't look like you and walk like you and talk like you. And this is why some of the members of Congress, the, 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 the more fragile ones, are trying to pass laws now, saying that it is the European architect of society that should be America. In other words, people who speak Spanish, you must become like me. Uh, people who pray to Allah, who are Muslim, you must pray to my God. For those of you who are of Asian descent, you must follow our rules. And black folk, we don't even know what to do with y'all because you've been uh, denying us from the beginning. But what the problem is this, is that with the movement of peoples of melanation to America and to Europe, this is happening in Europe. You want to know what I'm talking about? Don't believe a word I say. Check out a book that's titled The Strange Death of Europe. It's written by Douglas Murray. It wasn't written for us. <laughs> it was written for peoples of European descent, particularly people in Europe, to understand what's happening through immigration. Here in the United States, the same story applies. And that is that, and again, don't believe me, just get a book called The Birth Dearth. B-I-R-T-H-D-E-A-R-T-H. Don't believe a word I say. Study this for yourself. Understand what's happening. Because The Birth Dearth by Ben Wattenberg tells us that immigration worldwide now, mind you, who they are now. Re re remember who they are. They were the first and original illegal immigrants in the world. They did not come with anything to give. Emma Lazarus, in her poem, Statue of Liberty, says it. Give me your tired, your homeless criminals. I mean, she may not have said that, but I'm saying it. You're criminals. You're sick. That's who came to America. Starting in 1870, not in the 1900s. It started in 1870 when they tried to displace black people who were rising from their 
uh, a position of enslavement, they were rising, and in order not to give the jobs and education and everything to African people, they began to bring Europeans in in order to hire them. They had as little regard for the immigrants they were bringing in. Because, you see, when the poor Europeans were going to Ellis Island, rich Europeans coming to America, the business people did not go to Ellis Island. They went to the Soundview section of the Bronx. That's where their boats went, to Soundview. The poor people went to Ellis Island. We're dealing with conditions that we now face that have been going on for a very long time. And what has happened is that because of the nature of their mutation from the original melanated African, the Grimaldi of Europe, transforming themselves into the Cro-Magnon, which is the ancestor to the Eurasian, because the Cro-Magnon now is going to mate with Cro-Magnon instead of going back to the archetype. You see, although a lot of folk, you may not like what I'm about to say, but this happens in nature all the time. We've seen it happen with gorillas. We've seen it happen with peacocks. We've seen it happen with roaches. We've seen it happen with plants. And that is that when you lose that nutrient, the ability to process melanin, you become albinoid. You begin... you become deficient in that nutrient, the process of producing that molecule we call melanin. When you become deficient in that, nature demands that you make up for it somehow. And the way it helped the Africans survive in that ice age for thousands of years was to depigment the skin but in so doing, they also took away a lot of the melanin content within, known as eumelanin, which became in them what we call pheomelanin, P-H-E-O-M-E-L-A-N-I-N. -E and so they come back down across, but they only mate with themselves. So what ha what's happening now is that a mutant is commingling with a mutant which is taking the product further and further away from the archetype of humanity. Because plants were born to be green, humans were born to be black. So guys, that was the message by the African-American professor. Um, he has said some things which are really, really important and um, the origin of Caucasians and how extinct they might come in the near future. So these are things that we always need to talk about because we have some people that says that black people are the chosen people. In which line? In the line that when we go extinct, uh, people go extinct, black people will remain. Tell us what you think about this message in the comment section. Do you agree with what the professor is saying? For me, I think I agree with what he's saying because I've seen some things which are similar with this. And colored people, they have some advantages when it comes to, you know, um, exposure to the sun as compared to any other race, you know. That's something which has always been there. So to me, I think, hmm, I believe in this. I, I, I didn't have much to say about this video. Um, alternatively, the only thing that I wanted to share, I just wanted to broadcast this video so that it might reach different people, whatever they are. Tell me what you think in the comment section about this video. Until then, peace, love and harmony. Peace be with you. Salute.